Oh, hey, what's happening there, YouTube? It's Brian House here for Housework, and today we are going to be talking about the VFD situation. Um, I, I know a lot of you have been reaching out to me about not being able to locate a distributor for the KBAC uh, 27D, the uh, KB Electronics 27D VFD. I just so happen to have this one because many months ago I ordered two from a distributor because I too had run into this situation and um, and I couldn't get the, the VFD and it was the one I wanted. It's the preferred VFD for the Revolution project and a lot of other projects associated with controlling three phase motors. There has been numerous questions about this. I will address them in this video and then I'll also address it in the plan set because a lot of people have asked about the electronics and they see three phase motor and they they most people don't have three phase in their house or their workshop or anything like that and so there's a lot of questions that revolve around why this this particular setup is the one I chose well many many months ago when I started um, gosh it would have been over a year ago now when I started my journey on creating uh, my first grinder, I used Dan's design from DC Knives and his uh, preferred motor and VFD setup has always been the exact one I put in my plan set, which is the Iron Horse two horse motor and the KBAC-27D VFD made by KB Electronics. I had a lot of dealings with trying to make a DC motor work, trying to go the cheap route and not spend $500 on a motor and VFD. It is like the most expensive component to this build. And you know, um, it, it adds up real quick if, if, you, um, if you've priced it out, you know. So a, a lot of you have just gone ahead and used the philosophy I use, which is buy once and cry once. And that seems to be okay for you, but now, a lot of you who want to do that cannot locate this VFD. It is, there must be some sort of supply chain problem with KB Electronics and China. Uh, th this is actually, as a sidebar, this is actually manufactured in Florida, by the way, uh, just across the alley, about an hour away from where I live. So um, I find that interesting, but I would imagine most of the components for it come out of China, hence the supply chain issue. Now, I have been scouring the forums, blade forums and other places for people who have found alternatives that are cheaper and more readily available to the, to the KBAC 27D. Not that I'm saying that I would think that this is the preferred method because it's not. This, this particular VFD is 100% sealed up. You can see how the electronics are a lot higher quality than some of the other things and the options here really this is the preferred and um, if you go this other route I can't guarantee that it will work for a very long time you still need to filter the air that's going into it and you need to make sure that it's it's staying cool I have done some research on the forums trying to locate and find an alternative VFD one uh, there's two requirements one that it obviously functions with the motor that I prefer which is the iron horse motor and that it's notably less expensive that was um, you know, a, a big requirement for a lot of people. They're like, you know, 165 bucks for the motor, hey, no big deal, I can afford that. However, it's you know, $360 now for the VFD. And back when I first constructed the Revolution, I was paying like $320 for the VFD. And now they're just not available because of supply chain issues due to the pandemic. So I scoured the blade forums, I looked around, tried to find an alternative, and I believe I found something. Now, I ordered one, I don't have it yet, but it's coming. And I'll put a link down to this in the description so you can, you know, review it. I would not buy this yet until I have tested it, okay? So I bought one just to test it. They're $97 on Amazon, shipped to your house. And this has all of the same functionality as the KBAC 27D, 
but it's not sealed, okay? The air goes in there and cools it off, which is the ultimate death of these things because dust, metal dust, and all kinds of uh, uh, heat issues start to occur with these, and that's why we don't, we don't recommend them. The one real true positive for this is this functionality right here. That panel has a two meter cable that comes off of it and allows this to be remotely controlled using this breakaway panel. And for me, my brain went into, oh, I could set this on the outside of my grind room or say far away from the grinder itself and I could just create even longer cable. It doesn't have to be two meters. They give you a two meter cable, but uh, I could create one out of Cat5 fairly simply. It's just a five pin uh, wire plug and we could potentially control that VFD from another room. So the, the VFD say is in a spot where metal dust is not going to be a problem. But the controller, you know, it's just a controller. You know, if we, if we do it right, I think that we would be able to have that sitting next to the VFD, control it. Now, yes, you're gonna have a little bit more money in wiring and a little bit more, more money in maybe say an enclosure, depending on how you do it. But it's still, almost a quarter of the price of the K-Back. So if I can make this function, this is a fantastic low cost option for a, um, for a controller for this motor. Now, again, don't rush out and buy that VFD yet because um, I, I really don't know if it's gonna work. So I'm gonna, I bought one, it should be here maybe this week or next week, and I'll be able to shoot a video on it, test it, do the whole thing, and we'll find out for sure. But the other thing I wanted to discuss was so many people have reached out to me about the three-phase, single-phase thing. And we'll clear that up super quick right now. Uh, so these VFDs all are the main source of power single-phase, but it produces three-phase power on the outbound. So it takes single-phase and it converts it to three-phase. And it's a very simple process using a VFD. So if you buy a single phase motor because you're thinking, oh, I only have single phase power in my house, you're not going to be able to use a motor controller with it. The, the requirement for using a variable frequency drive controller is that your, your motor is a three phase. It's a requirement. You can't, you can't uh, adjust the speed of a single phase motor. It just isn't possible. So that's the reason why I went with that system. And I'm trying to find lower cost options for you and uh, also just trying to source parts in general. So anyway, I think we're on to something. So again, I'll put links down in the description for that VFD, but hold off just for a little bit until I find out that it does in fact work. And I am going to include a wiring diagram at the bottom of this uh, in the description, a link to it. And I'll also include it on the resources page for the revolution plans. If you buy them, you'll get uh, access to this resources page that will link you to all the pieces, parts, and whatever you need. And that wiring diagram uh, will break it down and make it very simple for you to, to wire up your VFD, whether it's the, the K-Back or the Chinese uh, one that I'm, I'm gonna be sourcing from Amazon. So uh, that'll kind of clear up some of those electronics issues. It is way more simple than you think, okay? Uh, it is not that difficult, but um, I, it, it does appear that I do need to address it and make a video on the finer details of that electronics component because I get so many questions about it. But again, that's why I'm here for. You can reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, um, and the website now has a contact page. We are doing really well as far as shipping orders. Um, we no, no longer have an issue on the supply chain issues with the plate or the hardware, everything is now flowing. We are like at full capacity. So all good things. And I really wanna tell you guys, I truly appreciate your support of this project. Um, you know, I was digging around and looking at some of the old videos I made and, you know, we kind of came up with this concept in November of last year. So it's April, you know, end of April right now, making this video. And uh, it is really kind of cool to see this project go from an idea and a SketchUp drawing 
all the way into full production and and selling plans and parts and and gosh it's overwhelming so i, I just want you to know how much i appreciate your support thank you so much and if, if you got anything out of today's video you know leave that thumbs up it really does help and if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button and if you hit that little bell you'll get a notification every time i upload something to youtube i hope to see you on the next video guys my name is brian house and this has been housework oh.